Hello friends, this is Abhishek Bindre. Uh, in this video tutorial, today I'm going to show you uh, the next part of uh, API, uh, which uh, can be used from phone gap applications, any phone gap applications uh, like uh, from uh, iOS or for Windows or from uh, Android devices. Okay. In my last video, I have uh, uh, I have told you that how we can uh, access the SQL Server database into the PhoneGap applications. Okay, but uh, uh, mistakenly I have uh, added the bad uh, bad IP address. So at that time it was not uh, correctly worked. So here I have uh, made some changes of uh, IP address. So I have uh, inputted a correct IP address. And now if you call the uh, particular service, then uh, we will get the the whole detail of uh, the Abhishek. Okay, as you can see over here, we can we have passed the login details, and from database we are getting this right now. Today in this video tutorial, uh, we're gonna create a new record. That that means I'm gonna send the whole information from uh, the phone gap application to uh, MySQL. Okay, via PHP. So. Uh, here we have a VAM server. If you don't know how to use VAM server, you can uh, watch my earlier videos uh, in which you can uh, find uh, all the details of the PHP, how to write the PHP, etc. etc. Okay, here is my table registration. Okay, in which we have uh, two records one for Abhishek and second for Ravi. Okay, now I'm gonna create one API which accepts the parameter from the phone gap application okay or from the external resources so first let me check else condition dollar get I'll specify the type type is equals to for uh, registration Okay, type for registration. If we got a registration in parameter, then we need to get the two values from the URL. One is username and second one is password. Okay, here I'm creating my query to insert the records to the database. So, first of all, dollar query equals insert into what's the table name the table name is registration registration values okay uh, for values I'm gonna pass dollar username and dollar p a double s w o r d password okay and uh, on starting the null parameter because we have a uh, ID which is auto increment so I'm passing the null value for that okay so we got a proper we have now proper query now fire query first just I want to write this okay so our query fired and uh, mysql underscore query result and after that I don't want this okay and uh, at last we just uh, return the details to the user that is user and I'm gonna give a message that okay just wait a second we're gonna create a simple array for that success is equals to true and uh, recipes is equals to 200 okay 
so this is my simple array so you can uh, declare whatever you want and uh, after that just write this okay that means the user will receive the user details recipes okay that means the success and the code is 200 okay and after that we will check it into the mysql database okay now we have to pass the proper parameters so just come back to the app here i'm gonna add input type is equals to text id equals username and after that input type is equals to password id equals to password and after that a single button input type is equals to okay now here the value is equals to register okay and uh, when we click on this so I have to specify the ID DTN register okay here I'm creating a new Okay, dollar hash button register click function and after that just send the ajax request ajax and after that URL URL would be 192.168.195 your host IP address or whatever the domain API dot PHP after that type is equals to get data type is equals to JSON data type equals to registration username is equals to the dollar hash dot val awrd password dollar hash password dot val after that content type application slash json success function response and after that err or error function oops oh god we have made mistake and uh, we will specify our parameter over here and if we got the error then we will alert that okay and whatever the response is response okay it's done now just run this application so Okay, first test one, two, three, four, five, six, and register. Okay, ready state zero, response status zero, and status zero.
ओके I think we get uh, the error. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm gonna just write this so we can get a proper idea about that. First of all, test user one two three four five six register. We got the error. Ready state zero. Response text blank. Status zero. Status text error. Okay. That means our uh, request is not going properly. So, for that, I'm gonna make some little more changes. Where params equals this. Okay. And after that, I'm gonna alert this. Param, they are params, and uh, I'll pass all this stuff to data. Okay, now we can understand it properly. So what actually happens over there? So register, registration, username, this password, this. Okay, that means the parameter. Parameters are correct. Okay, and after that, I will got the error. Okay, that means we are facing some issues with the API. One nine two one six eight one. Sorry, guys. Again, I made mistake. It's a 195.1. Run this now. Test user one two three four five six. Now this will register that into the database. Okay, this is our data, and uh, the response is null. Okay. Well, let me check it in our database. So. Okay, that means the query is not fired on database. So, our PHP code we need to change that code. Username, password, right? Insert into registration values null. Username, password. Okay, let me check it first on here. So, localhost slash API dot PHP question mark type equals R E G I S T R A T I Y registration success true and code 200. Okay, that means I think registration has been done. No, the query is not fired still. MySQL underscore query. Dollar. Okay, we got the success code and two hundred, but. Uh, Okay, guys. Uh, we have made uh, some uh, silly mistakes, and I have changed some code over here. So, uh, if uh, the record is not inserted into the database properly, then uh, uh, we got this message. And if done successfully, then we got this message. Okay. And uh, one more thing, uh, that uh, if we are passing the string, then we have to pass a pass the single quote. Okay. Now write okay. After that, just remove this, and you will get the success code completely. Okay, now just let's check into the application.
we have a test user 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay and now we're gonna click on this and this is our data and still we are getting the response null okay, that means we have still any still we have a problem API type registration username and password right everything is right registration type is equal to registration username is equal to this password is equal to the AWS or password is equal to this we got the message proper the query is become success okay we are passing actually the wrong parameter in the capital so we got the problem so right now we have entered the testing user now let's check whether it's available in our server or not okay. see the testing one two three four one two three one two three right guys i hope uh, you have understood whatever uh, we have done in this tutorial uh, in my next tutorial i'm going to show you how we can update the record of mysql and as well as how we can delete the record from mysql thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and uh, do practice on this tutorial thank you so much bye bye